All right, so in today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make this really colorful, stylized glass shader, and it's pretty, pretty simple. So we're gonna be going through and creating this scene file right here. Now, if you wanna download this exact scene file that you're seeing, you can download that for a dollar on Gumroad. This is pretty noisy, because we're gonna be using cycles. So let's get into making this. All right, so first step, we're gonna be opening up Blender 2.8 here, and we're just gonna add in really any object you want. But when it comes to this kind of stuff, I like to use just a sphere, just to keep it simple. All right, so now we have this. I'm gonna jump over to the shading tab and let's head over. And we don't need to actually look at any previews. Let's just set up the nodes right here. I'll explain to you what's actually going on. So let's click new, kill this principle, and we're gonna add an add shader, not a mix shader. This specifically needs to be an add shader. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, shift D, plug in another one. So first let's take this shader, plug that into the surface, just like that. And this shader, plug it into this one right here. So to make the refraction, we're gonna add, pretty simple, a refraction node. So refraction BSDF, and we're gonna get three of these, just like that. So let's plug this one here, and these two on these shader sockets. So this is pretty much it, what we got going on here. Okay, so now we have the nodes. If I just click rendered here in cycles, you just have a regular glass, no rough, glass shader nothing's actually happening so first off we need to add in our color now this is really really important when you click on the color you see hex hsv and rgb click on rgb because what we want to do is to make sure that these colors are exactly r g and b which is red blue and green because if you're not if it's a little off like that your glass isn't going to be um clear or colorless it's going to have a sort of tint of some weird color that they're mixing with so they need to be the exact colors of the r g and b so just bring it all the way to the end, and once it's at that, see so now you can see it's red and green, so now let's go to the blue. Just like that. So now they're perfectly in, now they're perfectly in those colors. Now if we hit rendered, we can see some color actually happening when it gets all noisy, but once it evens out, still nothing's actually happening. And that's because, say if I were to take the IOR here, now you can see things are happening. We have to play with the IOR settings. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have each of them slightly behind each other so that instead of them being on top of each other and just creating that RGB mix, really doing nothing. So the red, we're gonna have it at 1.4. The red's gonna be 1.4. The blue is gonna be 1.45. So they're gonna be just right behind each other. And the next one is gonna be 1.5, 1.5, just like that. And that's how you get a good refraction in your glass. If I were to go to render it, now we have some refraction. But this is cool and all. Now you have a refracting object here with some really cool stuff going on. But I don't like to stop there. So what I'm going to do here first, see we have these normal sockets. I want them all to be the same thing. I want to just plug in one bump node to one thing. And I showed you in a previous post how to get a group node. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit B, select all of these, and hit Control G. And now we're going to have this group output. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug into the color, the, rough, the IOR, right here on the color and the IOR. Make sure that these are together, right behind each other, the color and the IOR. So now we're going to take the roughness here, and we're just going to use this socket for all of them. So the roughness, take this socket here. We're going to use the same socket for all the roughness. And the reason why is if I hit tab, we have just one roughness node, one roughness slider rather than three. So we're controlling them all, and we're going to do the same thing here, here on the normal, use the same socket for all three on the normal. So when I hit tab, we just have one normal socket instead of three. So now you can control all three of these here, just like that. So the red IOR, the green IOR, the blue IOR, roughness, and the normal. So now we have this really easy node. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to look dev here so we don't have to overload my computer, and it's being kind of weird because it's not gonna look the best in Eevee, but I just wanna see the bump that we're gonna to add to it. So this is gonna be really simple. We're gonna add a bump node, just like this. Then we're gonna add a color ramp and a noise. So we got a color ramp here, plug it into the height, and a noise texture. So what this is just gonna do is gonna play with that refraction whenever we get to it. So let's take this here Let's take the color ramp and sort of crunch it a little bit, just like that. Bring up the scale, bring up the distortion some. So I'm gonna actually bring down the scale. So say I want it to be, I'm gonna put 0 
just like that. I'm going to up the distortion, give the distortion of 7. And we'll leave this like it is. So now we have just some fun stuff going on. So if I were to hit rendered, now you can see all this crazy stuff. It's too much. So I'm just going to go here on the bump and just bring it up just barely. So now you can see in that color, it's really starting to mess with it. Rather than just being really just plain and basic, with this bump node, we can just bring the strength up just barely anything and it starts to mess with and give it a little bit more fun and a little bit more detail. And the last thing I'm going to do is take this color ramp here, I'm going to duplicate it, take this noise, plug that there, and I'm going to plug the, this right here, the color into the roughness to start playing with it some more. I'm going to change the linear to B spline to make it a little bit more smooth, and let's hit rendered. And we can start playing with a little bit of roughness too to make it even look better. Bring this in a little bit. So now we have this really awesome glass shader. And just keep this in mind, with this refraction, it's what's behind it that's really gonna actually make that reflect refraction really pop out. So I just added all these boxes, these sort of the squares here on the material, and I made it look really, really crazy because we have all these edges and that refraction comes out and it really shines. And say, I just wanna make this look even better and we can really see that color pop. It's really, really cool. So there you go, it's easy as that. If you wanna download the scene file and get it on Gumroad, feel free to go do that, and thanks for watching.